Welcome to Dissertation in 90 Days, the podcast where we guide you through the challenges of completing your doctoral dissertation efficiently and effectively. I'm your host, and today we're diving into practical strategies for doctoral success. Whether you're just starting out or deep in the trenches of your research, this episode is packed with actionable advice to help you stay on track and achieve your goals. Before we get started, let me share a quick story. When I was working on my own dissertation, I often felt overwhelmed and unsure of where to begin. One day I found myself staring at a blank page for hours, paralyzed by the enormity of the task ahead. It was only when I broke down my work into manageable steps and sought guidance from mentors that I started to make real progress. This experience taught me the importance of practical strategies and having a clear plan in place. In today's episode, We'll explore a variety of techniques and approaches that can make your doctoral journey smoother and more manageable. We'll start with setting clear, achievable goals and creating a realistic timeline for your dissertation. From there, we'll discuss effective research methods, staying organized, and maintaining a healthy work-life balance. Finally, we'll cover tips for writing and revising your dissertation, ensuring you produce a high-quality piece of work. Our aim is to provide you with concrete tools and insights that you can apply immediately to your own research. By the end of this episode, you'll have a better understanding of how to navigate the complexities of your doctoral program and move closer to completing your dissertation. So grab a cup of coffee, settle in, and let's get started on this journey together. Whether you're listening during a commute, a break, or while working on your research, we're here to support you every step of the way. Today, We're talking about the practical strategies for doctoral success, and a big part of that is identifying common challenges. Every doctoral student faces obstacles, and recognizing these challenges early can make a huge difference in your journey. One of the biggest challenges is time management. Balancing your research with other responsibilities can feel like juggling flaming torches. You've got classes, maybe a job, family commitments, and then this massive dissertation project it's easy to feel like there aren't enough hours in the day. I remember when I was writing my dissertation, it seemed like every week there was a new deadline. I'd often find myself working late into the night, trying to catch up. Isolation is another common issue. Doctoral work can be incredibly lonely. You're often working on a very specific topic that few people understand. It's easy to feel like you're on an island, cut off from the rest of the world. I've heard from many students who say they miss the camaraderie of their earlier academic years, where group projects and study sessions were the norm. The isolation can be tough, but it's important to find ways to stay connected with others, whether through study groups, online forums, or just regular check-ins with friends and family. Research difficulties are also a major hurdle. Sometimes the data doesn't cooperate, or you hit a wall with your literature review. I recall a time when I spent weeks trying to track down a particular data set only to find out it didn't exist in the format I needed. It was frustrating to say the least. But these challenges are part of the process, and overcoming them can be incredibly rewarding. It's crucial to recognize these challenges early on. When you know what you're up against, you can prepare better. Time management can be improved with careful planning and setting realistic goals. Isolation can be mitigated by building a support network, even if it's just a few people who understand what you're going through. And research difficulties can often be addressed by seeking help from mentors or colleagues or by adjusting your approach. The key takeaway here is that you're not alone in facing these challenges. Every doctoral student goes through similar struggles. By acknowledging these common obstacles and understanding that they're a normal part of the journey, you can better equip yourself to handle them. In the next segment, we'll dive into some specific strategies to help you manage your time more effectively and stay organized. But for now, remember, recognizing the problem is the first step toward solving it. 
Now that we've talked about the common challenges doctoral students face, let's move on to a crucial aspect of overcoming those challenges, setting realistic goals and milestones. Setting clear, achievable goals is incredibly important. It gives you direction and a sense of purpose. Without goals, it's easy to feel lost or overwhelmed by the enormity of your dissertation. Think of your dissertation like climbing a mountain. You wouldn't just start climbing without a plan. You'd break it down into stages, making sure you have rest points along the way. The same applies to your dissertation. First, let's talk about breaking down the process. A dissertation is a massive project, but when you divide it into smaller, more manageable parts, it becomes much less intimidating. Start by identifying the major components, your proposal, literature review, research, writing, and revisions. Each of these can be further broken down into smaller tasks. For example, your literature review might involve finding sources, reading and annotating them, and then organizing your notes. Now, how do you keep track of all these tasks? This is where tools and techniques come into play. One effective tool is a Gantt chart. It's a type of bar chart that illustrates a project schedule. You can map out each task and see how they overlap and fit together over time. It's a great visual aid that can help you stay on track. Project management software can also be incredibly useful. Tools like Trello, Asana, or even a simple Excel spreadsheet can help you organize your tasks. These tools allow you to create to-do lists, set deadlines, and track your progress. The key is to find a system that works for you and stick with it. Another technique is setting SMART goals, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Instead of saying, I need to work on my dissertation, you could set a goal like, I will write 500 words of my literature review by Friday. This makes your goal clear and gives you a concrete target to aim for. Let's not forget the importance of celebrating small victories along the way. Each milestone you reach is a step closer to your final goal. Take time to acknowledge your progress and reward yourself for the hard work. It can be something simple, like taking a break to enjoy your favorite snack or going for a walk. By setting realistic goals and breaking your dissertation into manageable milestones, you create a clear path forward. This approach not only makes the task less daunting, but also helps you stay motivated and focused. In our next segment, we'll discuss effective research methods that can save you time and effort. For now, start thinking about your own goals and how you can break down your dissertation into smaller, achievable steps. In our last segment, we talked about setting realistic goals and breaking down your dissertation into manageable milestones. Now, let's dive into time management and productivity, two crucial aspects that can make or break your progress. Time management is all about making the most of the hours you have. As a doctoral student, your schedule is likely packed with research, writing, meetings, and maybe even teaching. So how do you fit it all in without feeling overwhelmed? One effective strategy is the Pomodoro Technique. This method involves working in focused bursts of 25 minutes, followed by a five minute break. After four sessions, or Pomodoros, you take a longer break, say 15, 30 minutes. This technique helps keep your mind fresh and prevents burnout. Another strategy is time blocking. This involves setting aside specific blocks of time for different tasks. For example, you might reserve mornings for writing and afternoons for research or meetings. By dedicating certain times to specific activities, you create a routine that can help you stay on track and avoid procrastination. Prioritization is also key. Not all tasks are created equal, and knowing which ones to tackle first can make a big difference. A helpful approach is to use the Eisenhower matrix which categorizes tasks into four quadrants, urgent and important, important but not urgent, urgent but not important, and neither urgent nor important. Focus on the tasks in the first two categories and try to minimize time spent on the less critical ones. Now let's talk about maintaining productivity amidst distractions. In today's world, it's easy to get sidetracked by email, social media, or even household chores. One tip is to create a dedicated workspace. Having a specific area where you do your dissertation work can help signal to your brain that it's time to focus. If possible, make this space free from distractions. Another tip is to set boundaries. Let friends and family know your work hours and ask them not to disturb you during these times. 
It might also help to set your phone to do not disturb mode or use apps that block distracting websites while you work. Finally, don't forget to take care of yourself. Regular breaks, exercise, and proper sleep are essential for maintaining productivity. It might seem counterintuitive, but stepping away from your work can actually make you more productive in the long run. When you're well-rested and refreshed, you'll be able to focus better and get more done in less time. Effective time management and productivity techniques can significantly boost your progress. By implementing these strategies, you can work more efficiently and make steady progress toward completing your dissertation. In our next segment, we'll explore research methods that can streamline your work and save you time. But for now, start experimenting with these time management techniques and see which ones work best for you. Now, let's move on to something just as important, building a strong support system. Having a solid support system can make a world of difference during your doctoral journey. It's easy to feel like you're shouldering the entire burden of your dissertation alone. But the truth is, you don't have to. A network of mentors, peers, and advisors can provide invaluable guidance and encouragement. Let's start with mentors. Finding a mentor who has walked the path before you can be incredibly helpful. They can offer insights based on their own experiences, help you navigate the complexities of your research, and provide emotional support when the going gets tough. Don't be afraid to reach out to professors or professionals in your field. Most people are willing to help if you show genuine interest and respect for their time. Peers are another crucial part of your support system. Fellow doctoral students understand exactly what you're going through because they're in the trenches with you. They can be great sounding boards for ideas, provide feedback on your work, and offer camaraderie during the long hours of study. Join a study group or create one if it doesn't exist. These groups can be a source of motivation and accountability. Advisors play a pivotal role too. Your dissertation advisor is there to guide your research and ensure you stay on track. Regular meetings with your advisor can help you avoid major pitfalls and keep your project moving forward. Be proactive in seeking their feedback and don't hesitate to ask questions. Their expertise is a valuable resource. Beyond the academic sphere, non-academic support is equally important. Writing groups can offer constructive feedback and help you improve your writing skills. They also provide a sense of community, reminding you that you're not alone in this journey. Family and friends play a vital role as well. They may not understand the intricacies of your research, but their emotional support can be a lifeline. Let them know what you're going through and how they can help. Sometimes, just having someone to talk to can make all the difference. Seeking help and feedback from your support system is essential. Don't wait until you're overwhelmed to reach out. Regular check-ins with your mentors, peers, and advisors can help you stay on track and address issues before they become major problems. Be open to feedback and willing to make adjustments based on the advice you receive. Building a support system takes time and effort, but it's an investment that pays off. A strong network can provide you with the guidance, motivation, and encouragement you need to succeed. In our next segment, we'll dive into the research methods that can streamline your work and save you time. For now, start thinking about who you can turn to for support and how you can build or strengthen your network. We've covered time management, productivity, and building a strong support system. Now, let's talk about staying motivated and overcoming obstacles. This part of the journey is critical because motivation can often wane and obstacles are inevitable. Staying motivated starts with knowing why you embarked on this journey in the first place. Think back to your initial passion for your research topic. What excited you about it? Keeping that sense of purpose in mind can fuel your drive. Sometimes simply revisiting your goals and reminding yourself why they matter can reignite your enthusiasm. Another powerful source of motivation is setting small, achievable goals. Instead of focusing solely on the end goal, completing your dissertation, Break it down into smaller tasks. Celebrate each milestone you reach. These small victories add up and keep you moving forward. When you finish a chapter, take a moment to acknowledge your progress. It can be as simple as enjoying a favorite treat or taking a break to do something you love. Obstacles and setbacks are part of the process, but how you handle them makes all the difference. When you hit a roadblock, take a step back and assess the situation. 
Sometimes you might need to adjust your approach or seek advice from your support system. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. Everyone faces challenges and reaching out can provide new perspectives and solutions. Maintaining a positive mindset is crucial. One effective technique is mindfulness. Practicing mindfulness helps you stay present and reduces stress. It can be as simple as taking a few deep breaths when you feel overwhelmed or setting aside a few minutes each day for meditation. This practice can clear your mind and improve your focus. Self-care is another essential aspect. Taking care of your physical and mental health boosts your overall well-being and productivity. Make sure you're getting enough sleep, eating well, and incorporating some form of exercise into your routine. Even a short walk can refresh your mind and body. Celebrating small wins is vital for maintaining motivation. Each step you take brings you closer to your goal. Recognize your efforts and reward yourself. It doesn't have to be anything big. A nice meal, a movie night, or simply taking time off to relax can make a big difference. These rewards keep your spirits high and remind you of the progress you're making. In our next segment, we'll explore research methods that can streamline your work and save you time. But for now, focus on staying motivated and overcoming any obstacles in your path. Keep your goals in sight, celebrate your progress, and remember that every step forward is a step closer to completing your dissertation. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Dissertation in 90 Days. Today, we've covered some crucial strategies for doctoral success, from setting realistic goals and mastering time management to building a strong support system and maintaining motivation. We've shared tips on breaking down your dissertation into manageable tasks, using tools like the Pomodoro Technique and time blocking, and building a network of mentors, peers, and advisors. We talked about overcoming obstacles by staying focused on your goals, practicing mindfulness, and celebrating small wins. Remember, every step you take, no matter how small, brings you closer to finishing your dissertation. Now it's your turn to put these strategies into action. Start by setting clear, achievable goals and use the tools we discussed to stay organized and motivated. Reach out to your support system and don't hesitate to seek help when you need it. Whether it's a mentor, a peer group, or simply taking time for self-care, make sure you're building a foundation that supports your success. We'd love to hear about your experiences and how you're applying these strategies. Share your stories with us, subscribe to the podcast, and join the Grad Mentor Network community for more support and resources. Your journey is important, and we're here to help you every step of the way. Thank you for tuning in. In our next episode, we'll explore effective research methods that can streamline your work and save you time. Until then, keep pushing forward, stay motivated, and remember, you've got this. See you next time.